Welcome to Red Santa Nat State. A thousand plus car entrants are going to meet here in the middle, right in Alice Springs. And we're going to bring you top fuel, burnouts, show and shine, road to grand champion, and much, much more. Stay with us as we check out all the highlights of this mad event. Here we are, back in Alice Springs for Red Centre Nats 8. Right here now, we're at Urara College, where we've got one of my favourite, a really special project, the Milwaukee Rusted Gems Project, where we get some older vehicles and we get the young Indigenous kids working on these vehicles. What, that, what it's really all about is uh, they come out for the health, education, and to make the right choices in their future lives. So that's why it's such a really special project to me. And uh, this vehicle behind us, we've got six different communities. We've got kids from right up in Burralula, Elliot, Papanya, and so they're from pretty much all over the Territory, and they come and work on this vehicle one day a week. And uh, thanks to Matt from, and Daryl from Vinyl Wraps and Graphics, they've supplied this, this awesome wrap, which was designed by one of the young kids from this college, and uh, we're going to have that on display here at Red Centre Nats. And the other thing on this car, they've got their communities on the side, but on the bonnet we're going to have the Brumbies logo, which is their school footy team. They absolutely mad about footy in cars, and so got them both in this project. Yeah, it comes around. Yeah, it should. So this Rusted Gems um, activity has been an amazing engagement tool for, for some of our Urara fellas. Over, over many weeks, over a series of terms actually, um, through a class called Industry Networks that the school offers, we've been, we've been able to connect that um, with the automotive industry and have four or five of our fellows who are really into their, into their mechanical stuff um, just jump into this project. Uh, the Magna behind me here, they've been working on um, all term and all last term as well. Um, on a Wednesday here at the Urara workshop. And of course the big cherry on the top of all this stuff, the engagement and the learning is, is the experience of the Red Centre Nats. So lads are hitting the top fuelers on Friday night, got the VIP tour, uh, going to walk the pits with Tilly and uh, meet a few of the teams, see these 10,000 horsepower engines uh, up close and personal and um, yeah that's going to be a heck of a night for the lads and then obviously the, day, the, the Saturday in the park with all the other rev heads of Alice Springs and beyond uh, it's going to be a real eye-opener for them and, and we're just so grateful that we're able to offer this opportunity. As you can see over here, there's no crowd yet, but this is the first time the Top Fuel's been involved with the Red Santa Nats. It brings a mixed crowd, it brings two crowds together with the excitement of 12,000 horsepower times six. These teams are fighting it out. Season two, there's no chance they're gonna wanna not take a win here this weekend. So this season, the championship kicks off at Red Centre Nats and we couldn't be more happy to be a part of this fantastic event out here in Alice Springs. There's so much going on around town. I know the teams are excited to get down to Lassiter's this afternoon and watch all the scrutineering and that sort of stuff as well and also look at some of the other great events that are happening over the weekend. Well, I'm Lee Eli, I'm from Premier Hire Racing and first time here at Red Centre Nats slash the first round of the Burson Auto Parts off your Australia round one. Uh, it's pretty exciting to be here. Uh, first time with Alice for all the boys, so everyone's ready to rip in. Yeah, so it was a short off-season from when we finished in Darwin, but most of the boys spend every few evenings and on the weekends getting ready to, uh, you know, rebuild all the engines and do all the servicing on the heads uh, and clutches and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, everyone's ready to go. Yeah, Friday, well, we've got four, four runs, so that's a little bit of a change. Uh, we're looking at all the data from uh, uh, Heathcote, and, because that was a green track, and then also Darwin, and trying to find, trying to find the middle of where we're, gonna, where we're gonna actually get the run, see if it's a 390 or, or a 40 sort of run. Where we're trying to be in the middle there, based on how, how, how the track quality is. Yeah, building the, rebuilding the supercharger with the boys this weekend. I changed it around a little bit, but yeah, after every run, we pull it off and check it and make sure it's within one thou clearance and get ready to go again. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm Peter Shibris, uh, top fuel driver for Premier Racing. 
um, yeah, to win to win uh, the first first season of, of you know Burst and Auto Parts Top Fuel Championship was was amazing. Um, it's it's one of those dream come true type situations where you work really hard and everyone works so hard and and it, it came down to the to the to the last race in Darwin. Um, you know, a few times there we thought we'd we'd thrown it away, but yeah, to, to bring it home and not you know just for me. But also for the team, it's just a, such a high for the team, and so yeah, we're we're excited to be here at, at Alex Springs. Uh, this is round one for the, for the for our second year, and um, yeah, we're gonna hopefully go for it again and see if we can do it. You know, three from three. So this is the my first year that I've ever raced here at, at the Red Center Nats. Um, I just actually went for a walk and had a look at the track, and I've got to say it's actually quite quite impressive. It's smooth. It's it looks quite quite sticky. So hopefully the weather gods. Um, Play their play their part, and we can get some runs in and um, put on put on a good show. So um, one of the one of the things that I'm looking forward to is um, you know, racing here at the Red Centre Nats. Um, is when we raced at Darwin, uh, we raced at a different crowd. It was it was a supercar crowd predominantly. Um, this is a crowd that's probably never seen Top Fuel. So I think um, yeah, just to look at their faces when we fire them up and when we actually run. Um, it's really, it's an amazing sort of sight and uh, hopefully we, we, do, we do ourselves justice and, and put a smile on their face. Nearing at Red Center Nuts 8 here at Alice Springs. It is raining, but it doesn't matter. It hasn't dampened the spirits. The lineup is going all the way around the corner. We've seen everything from Morris Miners with LSs to perfectly restored Club Sport Commodores, Chevy Novas that are going to hit the heavy hitters racing. Let's go have a look, have a chat, see what sort of people we can see here, and have a good time. My name's Baba. Got all what? Second time out here at Red Center. Hopefully we uh, don't give the wall any love this time and um, yeah, can send it. We were in the Masters last year. No, I don't think we are this year. But that doesn't matter, we're still gonna have just as much fun. Hey you going? Um, name's Mitchell, I'm driving a 1986 Cruiser um, 60 Series. This is my first time entering in Santa Nuts, but uh, doing uh, just the grudge racing, drag racing and the parade, just for a bit of fun. Been in Alice Springs two years, so I thought I'd better have a go, but yeah, it's about it though. around here where some of the cars come off the trailers ready to go and get scrutineered up here and checked out such a good ride here at Lasseter's on a Wednesday it's only Wednesday it's such a good start people are happy they're happy to be here what an event with so much variety we talk about it all the time can't wait for this to get going I'm a little bit noisy. I'm John Mowry from Alice Springs, local. Uh, here racing my wife's car. She's the defending Desert Nationals winner. And uh, hoping to deep belt in her time this year. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so this is my first time racing this year. Uh, previously, I worked the tower down at the drag strip, so haven't gotten to race my own car. This should be a fun time. Thursday here at Lasseter's scrutineering behind us here, Red Center Nats 8. Look, it's a bit rainy at the moment, but we've got clear skies from 6 o'clock today, and that will carry us through all the way until over the weekend. The whole event will be dry, nice and dry. We've got nitro tomorrow on Friday, but let's stick to Thursday today. Let's go and have a look at scrutineering, have a little chat for people that have traveled a long way, put in a lot of effort, for what is gonna be a mad event. We're at uh, Red Center Nats this year. We're proud of our, um, our 1969 2002 uh, BMW, and we're going to do some track racing. Hello, 
I'm Alan Chase. Uh, we've got a 76 LX hatchback, uh, flown 350, survey 350 gearbox, 90 rear end, slammed on the ground a bit, and uh, yeah, just Peter Beat at Red Sun and and hopefully the sun comes out and makes it a good event. See the variety's absolutely nuts. We've got airbag VEs, Teslas, Taranas, Ford 86. Mustang, we've got everything. Scrutineering, get it all done today. The show starts tomorrow. Happy people here, mate, having a good time. Matt. My name's Gavin Blues, all the way from Adelaide. Uh, it's our seventh out of eighth show we come up here. Uh, we brought back our red HG Holden again from last year. Uh, hopefully we'll do alright if the weather gets a bit better. We've just uh, got to get through scrutineering and push on with the weekend. Given we're deep in the heart of the Northern Territory, we thought we'd check out the Reptile Centre. Head and shoulder massage. Where the hell is this place? Look at me over there, you idiot. Yeah, Reptile Centre. Here. Wrong place. Old Springs Reptile Centre. They got a whole bunch of little crazy little critters running around in here. We're going to go and have a look. So we're here at the Alice Springs Reptile Centre. They've got everything from thorny devils to, to the world's most poisonous snake. And then there's also Big Python. They're going to get the thorny devils out for us to have a look, but look at old mate over here, eh? Is he made of fiberglass or is he real? Hey, he's real. Look at him. He entered in the burnout comp, mate. Thorny devils, let's have a look. Oh, wow. Holy, they're so... Oh, my God. We have a pretty special way of identifying them, um, which is their belly print. So you'll be able to see that he has a completely unique belly print there. Um, so it's as unique as our fingerprints. And they look really chill. Yeah, yeah. Very relaxed creatures. Can't even talk, mate. Look at the snakes here. What sort of uh, what sort of snake is this? Um, he's a Centralian carpet python. A Centralian carpet python. I'm freaking out. <laughs> There's two snakes there, having a little hug. Gavin and Grace, the snakes, having a hug, chilling out, and they are black-headed black pythons, mate. If I opened up my car and that was sitting inside, I'd sell the car. This is Australia's and the world's most venomous snake. What are you doing there, Cobber? The Gigi Skink. He's a handsome little fella. Here with Red Sanonats. People come and check it out. Been here almost 20 years. Tell us a little bit about, you know, all the animals and stuff you take care of here. Yeah, so we have the largest selection of reptiles in the Northern Territory, so it's a great display, um, ranging from small skinks um, to the most venomous snake um, on the planet. <laughs> Speaking of snakes, I hear there's something maybe going to happen. Yes, I do have a very large friend uh, that is very keen to meet you. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> and that would be? Uh, the second longest snake in Australia. Mad. Second biggest in Australia? You're talking like this big? Holy smokes. Oh my God. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. Oh yeah. Leo's and olive python. Wow. So they're the second longest pythons in Australia, reaching up to five and a half metres in length. Could she poo on me? Probably. She could, she could definitely poo on you. I'm protecting my eyes, hang on. <laughs> I'll get you to bend down. Oh mate. Oh mate, oh mate, oh mate, I love burnouts, but snakes. Okay, put your hand nice and flat underneath it. Mad. <laughs> She's going for the WWE chokehold, hang on. All right, I reckon that's about it. So if you're in Alice Springs, make sure you come to the Alice Springs Reptile Center. Been here for near on 20 years and they take care of plenty of beauties like this. Unbelievable.
Alice Springs Brewing Company. They make beer, that's the reason we're here. They've got also got a bit of a wing challenge. This is a great place for everybody while you're at Red Center Nest to come just a little bit out of town, five minutes. Come here and relax. They've got great facilities, great beer, great atmosphere, all the rest of it. Mad, let's go inside. I love beer. Look, they make it just behind us. We've got a little book here, they're all numbered. Centralian Ale, here we go. Yeah, I'll get 10 more, thanks mate. That is nice. All right, number two, almost summer. Flavor balanced with a firm bitterness, sweet hop aromas, yada yada yada, mad. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. All right, let's go. Number three, the Territory Mid, 3.5%. Tastes very light. More of my moustache than in my stomach. Fresh, very nice. Given it's winter, we thought we'd give the stout a crack. Man, that's good. Four beers, they've got about eight or nine on tap, maybe 10. Mad. Oh, we got a kick off, surely. So here we are, ASBC, which is the Alice Springs Brewing Company. We experience, there's six chili sauces here to choose from. It starts at number one, and the first one is Todd River Dust Sweet Chili. All right, what's gonna be worse? So it's snakes around my neck, all right? Easy, easy. That's number one done. So I don't know how hot this is gonna be, mate, but we'll find out. Definitely warmer, but not much. Sweet, fruity, that's good. Number three, dragon blood. Looks like lava. A bit hotter, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, this one's starting to get that <coughs> chilly. If you're gonna eat a wing, you can't just take a bit of the flesh. You gotta, to the bones, mate. Oh, next one is morning afterburn. Hot chili mango sauce, morning afterburn. Use to the hotel toilet tomorrow morning. <laughs> Oh, sh that's hot. Mate, look at this, this stuff's getting red now. So this one's called Scorpion Strike Trinidad Scorpion Chili Sauce. And this one is Scorpion Strike on steroids, Australia's hottest chili sauce. Number five. Oh, oh man, that's hot. Awesome. <laughs> this could be the last time. Oh, oh, Al Springs Brewing. Yeah, just out of town, coming up. This machine over here that brews beer and they cook it over there and the water goes up and through there and around the other side boils, gets to a point where the consistency of the beer ferments Travel through the tank over there and I got no bloody idea what I'm saying, mad. This beer's cold and bloody good. So we've rolled up here about 15 k's outside of Alice. Well, she's on the job. The car's been up at Gazanats. She's melted a uh, couple of pistons. As you can see there, the heads, the valves got a bit hot. Everything got a bit toasty. He's putting the car down so we can have a look. Go over here. What's going on, Watsy? Um, just a little bit of maintenance. <laughs> Routine maintenance. <laughs> a few VBs and a few spanners. Yeah, mate. Um, lucky the boys are all chipped in today and we Got busy changing the engine over, so. Because you had the car up at Gazanats, it melted it, got a bit hot. A yeah, few things happened. Up Gazanats, Darwin, unfortunately, um, had a bit of a fuel lean out and it, yeah. and it uh, melted a couple of pistons, so. Nothing like gathering a few people together to get a car together? I was I was ready to give up, but and Smallman fired me up when he was talking about changing things on his yeah. up in Darwin, so I thought, bugger it. I had a. Found another motor, had uh, I had around. a junker under the bench at home <laughs> and threw it in the car, brought it up, and. <laughs> 
I'll change a few things and here we are. Full send Saturday. Yeah, so hopefully Saturday we'll do a little bit of a test and uh, read the plug, see how we're looking, um, you know, if it's if it's fat or if it's lean or whatever, and we'll change what we can yeah. with what we can and, and we'll go full send and I'm either going to either gonna uh, bend it, blow it up or send it, either way. Mate, imagine you win. <laughs> I doubt that'll happen, but I'm, I'll just be happy to drive never it. Never say never, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna fairly lean on it, but yeah. I'll be happy to drive it on the trail at the end of the weekend. How good to be out here in Alice Springs? Oh, except for the weather they've turned on for us yeah, today. Yeah, you brought the Melbourne weather. Well, um, <laughs> hopefully tomorrow gets a bit better and yeah. a few more beers. We'll, we'll button this up and we'll we'll send a few tyres off it. We might just sit back, mate, watch you do a few things and yeah, not, not get it ready, mate. mate. All right. What's he's on the energy drinks, the VB? Let's keep them going, all over. Bend it, blow it up, or send it. Bend it, blow it up, or send it. Mackers. I love Maccas. <laughs> Every year this is a spectacle, Red Center Nats 8, we're here, Maccas, right on the corner. All the crazy machines are gonna show up here. Get a frozen Coke, get a bacon egg McMuffin or a coffee or something. for our own Macca's run. I'm here with the boys, we were driving past the sign. You gotta stop and get a photo with the Alice Springs sign. Blown a <laughs> 33 skyline and a statesman with a big piece of jewellery hanging out in the bonnet. I'll ask you, what's it like to cruise around, you know, the, in the car like this, around town and out spots like this? It's amazing. It's a really good to drive. You know, the opportunity to stand here and sign in the middle of Australia, how good? Oh, great. It's amazing. Great people, great, yeah, just really good to cruise, do the Maccas, drive in and out of town. It's so much fun. Yeah, and how about yourself? Yeah, a good opportunity to get stuff, get to do stuff you don't usually get to do, so... Yeah, and not get hustled. <laughs> yeah, and not run out of fuel or anything? Yeah, well, not yet, but we're getting there. We're very, very close, so... <laughs> yeah, it must put it... Like, you build these cars a lot, and a lot of the time you get to use them in closed venues. Yeah. To drive them out here on the streets, you've got a feel, good feeling of freedom. Yeah, well, well we had Gaz and that's two weeks ago on Darwin. It's just a good opportunity to get to drive the car, and then to come down and actually get to drive it on the street. That's Yeah, it's a pretty amazing opportunity. Can't really um, knock that, can you? Yeah, how good. Red Center, that's number eight. Mad.
We are half an hour away from the first top fuel cars running here at Red Sand. That's in Alice Springs, right in the middle of the country. We can't wait. We've been around the pits. We've seen how prepared they are. We've seen how focused they all are. Let's take you for a bit of a look now. Hi, it's Santino from the Rapsoda Auto Sport team. Uh, we're here at Alice Springs for the first time uh, in our racing career. So, about to make our first hit for Q1, and we're really excited. A lot of preparation has gone into this, and uh, a lot of kilometres to get here. So, looking forward to making a good pass straight off the trailer. We are Red Sun and that's a first round of top fuel about to race off for qualifying here. Got Phil Lamentina here and Peter Gibberus over here. Mate. <laughs> Ready? Listen to this. You can't, you can't just talk. It's no words. It's insane. What a, what a special thing to have here at Red Sandinats. I can't even talk. Which one of the teammates is going to go the fastest in this run? How about that? Nitro and Al Springs. What do you reckon, mate? Pretty sick, eh? Look at the crowd here behind us. Enjoying the nitro, sitting down, having a cold drink. Where else would you rather be, mate? Red Center, that's eight. Unbelievable, mate. Qualifying is over and done with. It's round one, Top Fuel Australia, season two, we know that. For the last hour or so, they've been rebuilding all these cars, checking them over, making sure that they're ready for the first round, which is coming up in half an hour. Mate, the Nitro is about to get more insane. Right here in the middle of Alice Springs Nitro, round one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I say? <laughs> Who would have thought yesterday? It's pretty cool, right? Well, it is cool because uh, yesterday yeah. we were a little bit uh, nervous, you know, with the weather and that. But, um, you know, look at this. The Bureau said it was going to stop raining here. It was going to be windy. This two degrees that way in Fort. And they had, it's the first time I've seen the weather perfect. <laughs> they got it right out here. I know I live in Sydney and it's never right. So. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> Oh look, it's pretty pretty consistent out here. But no, look, we're well round one. We qualified number two, so um, yeah, we got Phil Reed first round. So bring it on. What can you do? So good, mate. You enjoy yourself, no doubt. Yeah, well, you know, always enjoying yourself a little bit more when you're yeah. winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but cool to wrap this up with our Red Sun and that too, and all the other car fans bring the two together. Oh yeah, now that car festival feel, and um, you know, regardless, you, you know, we concentrate on this job here. But um, you know, the the, the level of um, cars that are here. Uh, right across the whole board is just, uh, you know, just second to none, right here in the middle of Australia. Yeah, How's yeah. that, eh? Pretty cool. <laughs> you get on Google Maps, you zoom out, right <laughs> in the middle. Yeah, and there's, can, there's no hiding, is there? <laughs> no, no, I check it about three times a day. <laughs> uh, good, good job. Luck out there, Phil. All right, mate, thank yeah. you. All right. <laughs> just here with Phil after qualifying. How'd you go, mate? Uh, we just, we set up a bit soft, um, yep. thinking it'd be a lot like when we were in a Mildura, but the track was a lot better. These boys have done an excellent job, as can be seen by, you know, Damien Harris went 407. So yep. we'll get after this run. I think we've got Lamartina. So hopefully the Valvoline car will take out the, the Fuchs <laughs> car and we can have a bit of an oil war. <laughs> See how we go. <laughs> Too good, mate. I've seen the crowd up there on their feet. Yeah. Oh, mate. Yeah. It's top fuel in, yeah. in the middle of Australia. Yeah. I think, you know, it's, um, it's, it's a treat for them and, you know, Hopefully they're appreciative of us coming out here and doing our thing. Yeah, there was, it was all the talk. They couldn't stop talking after the round. I know they're excited for the 
the first round, sorry, after qualifying. So good luck, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Can you imagine when it's night time? Is it ahead of flames all the way to the finish? Oh, can't wait. Yeah, I think they'll be going off their head, so it'll be good. Clarky, you pumped, mate? Sorry, mate. You pumped, Clarky? Mate, absolutely stoked for this. This is going to be wild, loud, and very noisy. Top Fuel Australia, we've just sussed it out. Nitro's going everywhere. We're going to head out to Blatherskite Park where all the elite cars are bumping into the hall. We're going to check them out as well as the other halls pumped full of awesome cars. Red Senonats, mate. We've come here to Blatherskite Park because we're going to check the cars that are bumping in for the elite hall tomorrow. Just past the gap here in the background. What do we see? Plenty of uh, pro burnout cars just chilling here in the field. Alice Springs, what a view. I mean, We've got Robbie's car over here. He's going to bang tyres in that. 100%. I mean, all these guys are going to send. We've got Lynchy over here. Matt Watts' car's up there. Jack Seaman's car, loose Q. Mark Syracuse is on it. Hold on. <laughs> Look at the cars we've got here at Blather Sky Park. They're chilling out at the moment here. Tomorrow they're going to be at the burnout pad, full send, late at night. It's going to be... Mad. Billy Sheldon, what's happening, mate? Oh, I just come back to Alice to give it another go and, yeah, just come out and have a bit of fun. Last year's champion? Yeah, 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 last year, so come back to see how we go. Rocky Nats champion? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Take it, you got space on the shelf, I don't mate. Yeah, we've got a little bit more, a bit, yeah, a little bit more. That's yeah, about yeah, it, mate. Yeah, I'll see how we go. Well, I can see the um, the car's looking a million bucks. You got a new new engine that you yeah, that's... yeah, new engine, turbo, diff, and a few things to try to get it hooking up. So, yeah. but it's not that easy to, to um, win grand champion. It's, you can do all that stuff. It's all um, preparation. There's a lot to go into it. Yeah. So it's anybody's. Yeah, yeah. Good trip down. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I flew in yeah. and, PB, <laughs> and PB drove. I think he did 30. He did say he was tired. He did say. Yeah, I think he did 20 something hours straight, so he got here safe. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Too good. Sunday's obviously the cars on show tomorrow, and Sunday's the, the, the big day of yeah. Grand Champ Day. You've been, no doubt it's been going around your head when you've been trying to sleep <laughs> last, yeah. let's say, the last month or two. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, it does. You think about it, but um, just put in the best we can and, um, yeah, and hopefully do all the boys proud. He's helped me, yeah. Here we are, Red Centre Nats 8. I'm here with Jason Mansueto, the current Summer Nats Grand Champion. He's also done Rocky, and um, he blames me for making him come to all these events, but uh, <laughs> this awesome car. So tell me a bit about what's going on. Oh, we just come up here because you asked me to come up. <laughs> um, very proud to come up and honoured. Thank you very much for making this happen. Um, and it's been a, let's say, a really great adventure this whole year. Yeah. Um, since the unveil, it's just been, yeah. And like I've said to you, it's um, when this car, like it's new, it's so good, it's, it's the perfect time to just do everything, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, while it's fresh and it's new, what better moment to do it all? You know, it's just, it, they deteriorate just sitting there, so why not show them and show the public what we've done and our oh, hard work, it's, it's all worth it. So um, with the car, you're gonna, what are you going to do now? Oh, well, we'll cruise it tomorrow night, is yep. it? Yeah, we'll go for a cruise tomorrow night. and You're, you're we'll... going for Grand Champion here? Oh, uh, depends if we have to go on the grass. Yes. <laughs> depends how dirty. You can it's... clean it, come on. <laughs> you can help me? No. <laughs>
Alexa and I work on the Hydrolink Jim Reed racing car. Um, it's been so good to come out to Alice Springs, somewhere I've never been before. Um, I've worked on the car for three, four years now. It's going really well, the team's amazing. Um, I work on the tyres and help the boys out with the clutch and stuff. And yeah, Alice Springs has been such a different experience to everywhere else. You know, we've got the same six cars, which is great, but the track's just so different, and the temperature, the weather, it's been really good. All right, that's Friday done. Unfortunately, Andrew has made the call that Nitro cannot run anymore, so it's no more top fuel cars allowed to run down here at Alice Springs Inland Dragway. That's due to track temperature. So the track temperature, if it's too cold, it affects the adhesion, which means that it becomes a little bit dangerous. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Come back tomorrow and it'll be absolutely crazy, all right? And Red Sun and that's eight Saturday today, the day burnouts kick off. But we're here this morning at Blatherscott Park. We're going to check out some of the Elite Hall, check out the cars there. There's a wonderful show and shine going on, but we've come to start off the day with a bit of fun at the four wheel drive course. We're going to see how they all go in the dirt, throwing up some crazy stuff. G'day guys, Scott Andrews here, uh, local Wallace Springs boy. Uh, got the highlights, going to check out the four wheel drive track and see how we go, basically. So just completed the full drive track, uh, didn't break anything, sent it, didn't bend it, and yeah. How about that, the full drive course, we love having it here at Red Sand and that's eight. So good, a bit of fun. If you get stuck, you get dragged out, there's plenty of officials here to help you out. It's not about going too serious, just about having a good time. Yeah. Look here, we've got a picnic table that's a car, is that yours? Yeah. 100%. Sitting here at Red Sand and that's eight. No, it's a picnic table to take a seat and all of a sudden we're driving off. Tell us all about it, Nick. Um, built it in 2015. It's got a 125cc um, motor in it. Yeah. Three forward gears in reverse. Mate, this is my kind of picnic table. You've got little beer holders and everything. This is living, mate. Yeah, you, must get, you must get a lot of <laughs> questions and a lot of people interested. Yeah, good fun. I saw one down here in the first one and went home and built one. Mate, I'm going home and building one myself, I'm not even joking, this is the best. If only had a, we had a cold, couple of cold beers, you wouldn't, you'd be, you'd be set. Esky's down there. He's got an esky underneath. So Nick's just taken us for a cruise on his mobile picnic table. Holy thing, this thing smokes. Are you in the burnout masters, Nick? No, nah, I tried to, but it wouldn't let me. <laughs> yeah, might, too much power. Might go in the drags next year, though. Yeah? Yeah. In the drags? Have fun in the sun. Yeah. How you going? Mad. <laughs> How you going, mate? I reckon we can break traction or what? We a bit of how much power we got. We, we can with it, do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got gears. Yeah. Three forward and reverse. <laughs> so if the car's got a flat battery at home and don't start, take this to work, eh? Hey? 100%. It'd be nice, yeah. <laughs> Look at all the entrance lists on here. Number three. Three, five. five. So coming up next, our wonderful Rachel's going to take you through the hall. Pick five cars that she thinks are really awesome. Have a look around there. Nobody better than Rach. She knows exactly what's going on. Holy smokes, we're doing burnouts here. That's all right. I thought we were going to start drifting around here. I was getting keen. Good, mate. That's mine. <laughs> there you go, mate. This is smoking now. Yeah. The car community never ceases to amaze you. We have the best people in the world. yesterday through scrutinizing and judging and as you can see behind me the interior and the color on this thing absolutely amazing 
blown away by this. The guy's done it all himself and it's a triumph to him. It's just a beautiful car. So this is another one of my favourites that have come through judging and scrutineering. Uh, I was blown away by this one. The interior on this is absolutely beautiful and I was blown away by the paint job on this one also. This guy is just lapping around and overall this car is the same underneath and on top, beautiful. All right, so HGU, this one came through yesterday and absolutely amazing. The engine on this one, it's actually the second one. I was actually blown away. I said, what's wrong with it? What happened? Uh, nothing, they just wanted a bigger engine. So the other one's been put away and this one's now running it. So stunning. So you guys might remember this Silverado from last year. It was black last year. Um, now it's had a vinyl wrap. Uh, just seeing out the colour concept before they try and change the colour completely. I think it's working, it stands out a lot. You could need to come check this car out. All right, so now we're outside and just to see behind me this Valiant wagon, how good is it? The fact that they're just as good as outside as they are inside. This thing is immaculate. So once again, it is not just inside in the pavilion, it's outside as well. We have motorbikes, cars. We do love a shiny car here, but we also love some patina here too, cars and bikes. My favourite spot in here, and this is the uh, I think it's called the Euro, Euro Wanker pub. Um, we'll find it after it's on the door. Um, yeah, it's a rolling pub, it's on display down here in the main pavilion. So I think I found my spot for the rest of the event. Best. Shannon Show and Shine here at Red Center Nights 8 by the Sky Park. They're lined up a hundred cars deep and there's about five lanes and someone's ringing me. Let's have a listen and see who it is. It's Owen Webb. What's going on Webby? The show and shine? Awesome, I know, we're just here now. Mad. It's great here in the sun at Alice Springs. It doesn't get much better. It's such a good place here during Red Center Nats to chill out, do nothing. Walk around, look at some beautiful cars. Yeah. feel like a snack we thought we'd try some of the fine cuisine here by the sky park give it a little bit of a test run see how we go <laughs> we'll look over here what do we got and a dagwood dog or something maybe yeah, we'll get a dagwood dog mate i reckon well, what do you call it pluto pup i don't yeah, even know daggy dog. is it called a dagwood dog or yeah, a pluto pup daggy dog daggy and a dog cup of daggy chips. dog <laughs> and a couple of chippies you reckon a cup, of, a cup of chips yeah. cup of chips yeah, that's all oh, we want Best in town. Best in town. Best in town, he reckons. Look at him, here we go. Oh, he's got the sauce. You gotta have the sauce, right? Gotta have the sauce. Gotta have the sauce. Get show us how it goes, mate. Oh, oh mate, you got it all over the got it over the hot rod. That's looks that's how you normally do. <laughs> if you don't spill it on you, you're not having a good time. That's how we ask the Victorians do it anyway. <laughs> oh, there you go, yeah. No worries. That's how you do it in Victoria, apparently. I don't know. Can I get a uh, daggy dog? Uh, yeah, we'll get a bit of sauce. Awesome, thank you. Best daggy in town, I reckon, that's town. Does this come with a health rating or Obviously, I'm an athlete. It's mad, 11 out of 10. I can feel my heart struggling. They taste good, but. Oh, mate. How's your nuggies, mate? What'd you get? Calamari? Yeah. Looking I've good. I had this yesterday as well. Is it nice? Yeah, but I think I got more squid yesterday. Did you? 
<laughs> I'll put a complaint to the manager, mate. Nah, I'll be right. <laughs> Having a good time here at Red Center Nuts? Yeah, I'm from WA. Okay. My first time here. It's very good. I'm quite impressed. Out here in the sun in Alice Springs, how good? Oh, I like it. I'm coming back. I'm coming back? Yeah, how good's that? I thought I'd still, nah. still, still <laughs> come and have a bloody uh, squizzy. Sweet. Have a good weekend, mate. See you next year. Will Cheers. Do. See ya. See you with the boys. Just having a bit of a refreshment, chilling in the sunny at Blatherskite Park. Yeah, how good's it? Oh, great, mate. Just having a couple of beers and having a look around and having a look at a few cars and that. So it's having a good day, yeah. Whereabouts have you guys travelled from? I actually just moved to Alice Springs myself, so... Oh, how good? Yeah, it is great here, so I love it here, so yeah. How's the chicken tenders going, mate? Oh, they're pretty good, mate, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they were right, yeah. An old mate who walked off before he didn't want to be in the video, now you're right in it, mate. Uh, Burke and Wills, you know him well. Nah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> having a good time, bud, mate? Yeah, yeah. That was good, everyone having a good time. Mad. We're in here in the Elite Hall. This is where all these cars are gunning for Grand Champ. Dean Rickard's car. In the background there, Billy Shelton's car, Jason Mansueto and much more. Plenty of cars in here going for that Grand Champ. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna bring you all that action when they go to the drag strip, do the grass driving events, Motocana. So tomorrow morning, we'll be back in this shed nice and early to see what's going on. I'm just here in the Elite Hall with Dean Rickard. Lovely HT Monaro behind us. Street Machine cover car previously. It's nice to be here in Alice, surely. Yeah, no, it's great. It's the first time I've been here and uh, yeah, really enjoying myself here. Big, cr going. big crowd coming through. I'm sure they've got plenty of eyes on this, mate. Yeah, there's a, probably a lot of beautiful cars here. They're looking at them all, but um, yeah. yeah, I'm wrapped here, man. The people happy with the car. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> I saw you cruising too out in the Alice Roads and stuff out in Alice. That's nice to see. Yeah, no, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, sort of one, once I got the permit, I thought, no, I can't, can't go back in the trailer now. Nice yeah. day and everything. So, yeah, I was running around everywhere. turning up for burnouts here they're all ready to go for tonight kick off 7 p.m before then we got the city cruise hey so good so many pro burnout cars and a lot of pro burnout cars driving in the street road so mate it's just all happening here in Hell springs <laughs> what's he tell us what's going on here mate uh a few car park tune-ups full send tonight that's it she's gonna be absolutely beating on doing a quick pre-drive before the city cruise just have a look what's going on see where everyone's gonna position themselves see where we can position ourselves to get, give you guys the best look have a look out the front window now you can see this is where we're gonna come up to the roundabout do a u-turn go around the roundabout and back down to Blather Scott Park where the cruise originated from I think right now we should go to Blather Scott Park and have a look at everybody forming up Tell us what you eat. Yeah. Mick chicken. <laughs> good? What car is your favourite here? Toronto. By the Sky Park, one of the best city cruises of the year at any event. It's huge, it's lined up. Come over here on web. Come over here. One of the best city cruises in Australia, surely. Yes, definitely. Right in the middle. <laughs> this is truly is an unbelievable cruise because like the whole seven or eight Ks, they're four and five deep the whole way. Yep, on the side of the road, chilling yeah. out. Have we seen them? We just came in then. Everybody's on, you know, camp chairs, chilled out. I reckon Got their some, spot. they would have been there since nine o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Too good. Yeah. Some of the cars in here, street machine cover cars going in the cruise. Yeah, well, we got bikes yeah. and we got all the methanol cars yeah. and we got all the, the elite cars. 
It's all the rest are just unreal. I don't even know how many, but I reckon there'll be so probably seven, eight hundred cars in this cruise. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> unreal. I better let you go, mate. Get it organised. All good. Watch this. Over here, there's a wedding going on. The winners, the Red Santa Nuts wedding. Let's have a look. I now have great pleasure to declare you to be husband and wife and to invite you to share your first kiss as a married couple. Hooray! Thanks. Wedding right here, Red Santa Nuts. Super excited to get on this street cruise. All the cars are finally together in one place. It's going to be awesome. Amazing turnout. We've come 3,800 k's from Western Australia and cannot be happier. Skids, top fuel dragsters, and all these amazing cars. Could you ask for anything better? <laughs> going on the cruise, mate. <laughs> going on the cruise, mate. What's yeah, going on? You don't want to yourself. Why you can't be... <laughs> City Cruise is about to take off. We've been lucky enough to go with Grant and his EH. Let's go have a look. <laughs> yeah, Josh. I hear I'm hitching a ride with you blokes. You bet, my yep. man. Sounds great, mate. Yeah, jump in, buddy. Thanks for the ride along, Grant. Nah, no problem, mate. Hey, pleasure. It's kicking off the City Cruise. Seven, eight hundred cars going through. Alice Springs, how good. How good is this, Grant? Yeah, fantastic, mate. There are people, I can't believe the people come out, eh, mate? How many people? So, Grant, you drove this car all the way down from Darwin? Yeah, mate. And, um, it was awesome. I left there, you know, mate, real early in the morning, and um, all the way to Elliot had the aircon on, mate. You know, <laughs> yeah, and then after the aircon, yeah, yeah, good. After Elliot, I jumped out, put my jeans on, a jumper, mate. It was freezing, <laughs> eh? Yeah, but the car went like a dream, eh, hey, Josh? Beautiful. Yeah, great trip. Just the people you meet, you know, you talk to on yeah. the side of the road, and um, you know, road houses, all the all the rest areas. Live a life. Live a life, mate. Yeah, yeah good. It was fantastic. That, that's part of the journey, mate. This it was the first time I drove down, and I'll never trailer it down again, mate. Yeah, right. I'll always drive, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all the people. This is awesome. Can we just go through KFC? I'll get a few wicked wings. Is that right? <laughs> Best cruise we've ever had here at Alice Springs, I reckon, so far. Everyone's so excited, smiling, crowd's loving it. We love coming here, mate. This is honestly the best. We're gonna try and get five seconds of wall. 
Hey, buddy. You, I know you're like a business end of the deal, mate. Yeah, I know. That's what's going on now. You good? Yeah, we're good. Not just final checks. Yeah. We just did three and a half thousand k's, like Queensland roads. You know yeah. what they're like. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful until you get to the end. I've done Gimpy to Rockhampton. I reckon it was. <laughs> Once you cross that NT yeah. border, beautiful yeah. roads. All right, we're with Paul Seaman. You've been on a bit of a road trip, mate. Uh, yeah, we've been, I think we've done um, 4,000 k's so far, up from Wagga through uh, Coba, Longreach, up to Gazanats, which was a great show. Yeah, what a community, this yeah, burnout community is. It is great, right? you know, we're just touring around Salt the country. Salt of the earth. Salt of the earth, they really are. Yeah. And we're helping each other out, and we had, had like a laugh with Joel, and yeah. the, the wedding was wonderful. Yeah. And, and I was, <laughs> everyone, it, was, and Zubber, it was so good. It was good. Yeah, and, you know, it was great. It was, yeah, so it was really good, and um, Joel smashed a set of tyres off the off uh, centre, and yeah. it's been a great show. So yeah. um, everyone, yeah. everything's going really good. Robbie Cottrell, Port of Haters, Middle Hour Springs, Middle of Australia. Yep. Yeah, no, it's um, should be good. It's uh, always a good show out here. Pad's always a little bit slippery, but yeah, we'll see how we go. The crowd loves it. Yeah, the crowd's always good here. How's that Falcon with that Chevy motor, mate? Mate. As you know, for the haters is for all the haters, and yeah, everyone hates it, but it does what it needs to do. Who cares? How's Fat Tony? Yeah, Fat Tony's hurting at the moment. It's, don't, we won't talk about that car, yeah. but yeah, it's 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 the party bus, and yeah, it's at home. So, Jago, what's going on? Oh, just getting the car ready, a bit late as always. Spoke to the old man before, been on a bit of a road trip, mate. Yeah, three weeks in a truck, that's enough for me. <laughs> he said, "You're wearing the wiper blades out." Yeah, he was half asleep, it'd been raining, <laughs> and it was still raining, and he was up me because the wipers were on, so obviously we're on thin ice now. You're going to have a good time in this, right? We're going to have a party. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know time. you, mate. You always. get close, you're like, who cares, walls? It's like, yeah. they're always close, but not there. I always like to see how close I can get. I even get <laughs> yeah, back no. and I look back. You're going to hit them often. That's no, just no. fucking no. credit to you. It's wow, I've got to beep that. Wow. Yeah, I just got to be excited. Yeah. yeah. Stay pretty up. <laughs> I want to go first, just so he has to watch me. Yeah, I want to go first so he has to watch how good it went and then he's got to try and top it. You know what I like about you guys? It's the camaraderie. It's like, who cares like, who wins, this and that. It's, oh, just, no, I, it's it, all about this now. If we all drive off and put it back on the trailer, yeah. that's what it matters. So yeah. We'll just have fun, yeah. Just waiting for a mate. Mad. VB can for a bloody boost gauge holder. Hell yeah, mate. Been looking for Lynchy all day. He's done the runner, mate. Is he even here? Stephen Later, what's happening, mate? I'll just come down here for a bit of a skid. Car's been on the road for a little bit. Yeah, we went to Gazanats a couple weeks ago and um, yeah, come down here for another one. It's got to be pretty cool to smash skids here. Yeah, I've been here for, I've been here once I think, it was about five years ago. Yeah. And um, yeah, pretty keen to get back out there. Burnout Masters ball draw. All the drivers are here, all the cars are in the car park ready to go. Everybody's been doing all the fine adjustments. Tonight's the night, it's nice and a bit cool tonight, to tell you the truth. But they're here, they're waiting, they're going to do the ball draw, see who goes first. It's always a bit of exciting you know, a bit of exciting time because nobody wants to go first and maybe who knows wants to go last, but they don't care. They just go full send anyway. No one wants to go one. No one wants to go one. <laughs> All done. Yep. Go. Good luck, guys. Shout out to absolutely everybody in the crowd for coming down and being through this. Let's get into this. So sick. Masters up next. Can't wait.
determine who wins this stuff. Smoke and ballet. Okay, it's about the smoke and the dancing. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Springs, that crowd in there where we just were, they love her <laughs> mate. Watch this, watch this, mate. Either send it, bend it, or blow it up. <laughs> Sunday, by the Sky Park, Red Sun and Ads 8. Here in Alice Springs, all the cars are coming out here that are running for Grand Champion. This morning, we're heading up to Acid, where they're going to race. Some of the guys that are racing in this are very, very serious. We've had a chat to them yesterday. There's no mucking around. After that, they're going to go to the sign, get a nice photo, which is what we always do here at Red Sun and Ads. Then after that, there's some motor carner at Lasseter's. And then after that, grass driving, all the judging's been done, and then we'll have an answer from Owen Webb on who is grand champion. Let's go, champions, champion, champion, mad. All right, guys, another year, grand champ, 
about to hit it and the cars that we've got lined up today, absolutely amazing. Who knows who's going to win, but either way, the road to the Grand Champion is the funnest one and is the best part of the weekend for me. So let's see who wins and who takes it out. the grand champion run down the drags. Uh, Billy's just run a nine and at the moment we've just seen Mansweto run a ten so we're gonna see Nigel War now see what's going on and uh, hopefully the rest uh, see who the champion is. Nigel's just done a 9-2, so he's in the top at the moment, so let's see what we've got next. Cut the air with a knife here. They've just gone up and done the runs and there's some interesting times. It's gonna get hectic, majestic, mate. They're going to Lasseter's, they're gonna do the motor car and then the grass driving after that. Stay with us, this is gonna go down to the wire. The form up here, the sign of Alice Springs. Just see all the Grand Champ cars that are running for Grand Champ lining up here for a bit of a nice photo, mate. Every year we do it. It's a bit of a tradition. And yeah, that'll do it. Thank you. Kind of running done, Mansueto, Shelton, all those guys in there pumping it to get the fastest time. Webster, pretty close. Man, I haven't actually added them all up, but I can tell you it yeah. is really close. There'll be about four yeah. Yeah. within about a point of each other, so we're going to the grass. We're almost done. You've been working hard for weeks, mate. <laughs> we're good. It's going to be awesome. You get some sleep when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> Four two two inches to the left, four point four. Oh, how you going, mate? So listen, we're going to go do a siding lap of this grass driving event because you know what's really cool about this is probably going to decide the grand champion of Red Center. That's eight. So where are we going? Yeah, no, no pressure, but you got to get it right because <laughs> they're yeah. all watching. Ah, just, Between them, just the second one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that one. Oh yeah, just around the, that, around that. Yeah. To the third one. Oh, I see. So yeah, one, two, three. And then where I go around then? Right across the back. Yeah.
Back around here. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> oh, damn, that was Don't follow me. Yeah, Whatever you do. All right. One way street to nowhere. We stuffed it. Oh, I stuffed it. I'm not getting no grand champion, nothing, mate. <laughs> that what's going on plenty going on like that was our last event yeah. and right. we just got to go and add up a few few totals here and we're going to get a grand champion that's it wrapped up tensions all gone because now it's all done can't make any can't do anything on more to try and win grand champ let's go see some burnouts Watch this skid, mate. And our winner in the burnout competition, our burnout championships here at Red Center Nats 08. He did really well in qualifying last night. He chose to stay in the burnout championships. Your winner from Victoria is entrant number 521, Aiden Lease. Joy ride! In the burnout masters here at Red Center Nats 08, third position, entrant number 784, Rick Fuller, full on X. Give it up for Rick Fuller. And there's this gorgeous green HT sedan. Enter number 443, Ryan Pearson. Hold on. <laughs> Your winner for the Burnout Masters here at Red Center Nats, 08 for 2022. Enter number 607, the XD Falcon. <laughs> Ryan the Red Center Nats champion and your winner for Red Center Nats 8 here in 2022.
from Western Australia, Nigel War in the 1974 HQ Holden News. Australian Nigel War in the 1974 HQ Holden News.